Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to make these little fold out um, pocket pieces for your journals. So these are the two that we're going to make and hopefully I'm going to kind of be able to edit the video and do this kind of whole before and after thing um, that we've got going here. So yes, hopefully um, we're going to kind of have a look and attempt to make these two now. So see you in a minute. So, and I'm not in any way trying to say that this is, you know, a brand new idea. I'm sure people have done, you know, very similar things. Um, but it's just, you know, it's a slightly different kind of um, take on a pocket that I haven't necessarily seen, you know, other people do myself. So I'm just taking here um, an A4 sheet of paper. This is just using the background papers from my Rose Garden um, Digi kit. They're just, it's just a background page um, digital kit. So this is one of the background papers. As I say, it's just A4 size. You'll have to excuse this. This is just obviously a sort of mishap that I have with my printer. So basically, you take your A4 sheet, if I just move that out of the way so we just have kind of one, and what you're going to do is kind of fold it into thirds. Now, I don't kind of measure or anything like that, and often I do get um, <laughs> tripped up and caught out and wish that I had. But if you kind of fold it, you know, roughly, do you see what I've done there? I've kind of, um, I guess, like accordion styled, you know, over three times. Um, you can get it more or less the size that you want it and you can always obviously trim this down so I'm just kind of going to press that like that just want to kind of take that slightly over further okay okay so then if you just press that in like that and then obviously you've got your three Sort of sides here and then all we're going to do is fold one of the or you know fold what effectively is the front of your pocket into a kind of triangle here so just fold it in leaving a little bit of a gap here like that and then you're going to kind of fold that over like that and so effectively what you've got is a kind of or what you will have when you, you know, stick it down, is a little um, pocket here with a kind of triangular shape there. And obviously, you know, if you had coffee dyed this paper or if you'd printed it double-sided, I mean, obviously, if you printed it double-sided, you'd have a lovely pattern here anyway. But if you've obviously, um, you know, printed it white then you know you could just distress ink this or you could coffee dye it or you could stamp it you know just to kind of decorate it up but basically then what we've got is a little booklet here with a little kind of triangular bit here I quite like these personally you know this kind of length but I mean obviously if you had a kind of you know we're using a4 pages for your journal for instance then that's going to be the full length of your page so you may want to obviously trim those down um, but you know having said that if you were kind of paper clipping this in or something you may quite like it as the full size anyway I'm I'm getting getting away from the point here so what I quite like to do is actually glue this down rather than kind of take this triangle off because obviously that then reinforces this fold so it's kind of thickish like that so we just just fold that down and then because obviously I haven't coffee dyed this paper I'm going to just cover this back part with just some other paper so this is just another piece of the background page so all I'm going to do is take a piece and I'm actually going to kind of cut it a bit further round I think cut it kind of here 
and then I can just decide oops, whether to kind of trim it down here at the edge or whether to kind of fold it over. So if we kind of just glue that on, just kind of place it here roughly, so I know kind of where to put the glue. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Oops, there we go. Hope you're all managing to do some crafting. Every day is better with crafting. Right, I'll just stick that down like that. that a bit lower so I'm just going to see if I can pull that off stick it a bit lower so I've got kind of more of the pink from the roses kind of on there as well and I'm just going to run a bit of glue down there I mean as I say obviously if you had double-sided paper here you wouldn't need to do this because your inside would already be decorated it's just that I didn't, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of decorate that up. So, and then what I'm going to do is kind of glue this down here. You know, because for me, this is going to be obviously glued onto the page anyway. So, you know, this is going to all be covered up. But I just want to have that kind of really neat edge here. So it looks kind of really nice and neat so like that and then I'm just going to trim along the top I'll just unfold that trim along here just get rid of that kind of excess like that. okay so then what I'm going to do is obviously decide how big I want this so let's just say we want it kind of down here we'll just trim that at the bottom just there just going to check how kind of straight that looks when I kind of unfold it uh, not too bad not too bad so I'm just going to glue this down and I'm just going to obviously glue it down at the bottom and then along here like that okay just trim that down slightly okay so what you've got is obviously your pocket here on this front piece and then you know I would glue this kind of onto the page like that so you've got your front pocket here and then you then oops, this is glued down and when you open it you've got kind of this beautiful bit here obviously this is very highly patterned paper so you know what you may want to do is obviously put something less patterned on the inside so you can actually kind of obviously you know journal on there so if we were to just do that in fact what I'm going to do I think is trim this just have a look kind of the height that we want it so if we trimmed it across here I don't think that was very straight at all hmm. not very straight at all right and then what I'll do is just fold it like that so as I'm getting them roughly the same size. So I just neaten that top up. Just neaten that side up. Okay. And then we'll just do this side as well. So then we've got our two p 
pieces here to pop inside as kind of journaling space. Now I quite like how they look with the um, you know roses kind of running down the edge. I think that's really quite nice. So let me just find my corner rounder which should be buried somewhere here on my desk. So I'll just put these together so that it's nice and quick. Come on. <clears throat> okay. And then obviously you can just glue those down. So I'm just going to glue them quickly down on here. And again, this is where I could do with my card, whether I've got it here or not. I can't see it at the moment. Hold on. It's in my drawer. No, I don't think it is. It's very annoying. Right. Oh well, never mind. So we just press that down like that. And then this one here. And I quite like these because, um, you know, if you were using kind of an A4 sheet, it uses the whole A4 sheet pretty much. I mean, we did obviously trim off. Let me just check that I'm getting them roughly the same height. Hold on. Just going to stand up because it will be slightly easier to see. So, okay. Okay. And then, of course, you can round the corners of your piece if you want to. Oops. Didn't make a very good job of that corner, so I have to go back to that. Oh, come on. And this one I might just do. I might just have to do this one separately, so. Bear with me. And we'll just do this corner as well. Oh, on. Okay, so that's obviously your little kind of booklet, which looks really pretty. And then, you know. <laughs> If you watch my channel you'll know that I love string so you know you could always then kind of tie it with some string to keep it closed so just bear with me for a minute just tie it like that so I haven't decided yet whether I do want the string on there or not so I'm probably not going to stick that on there for the minute let me just pull in a journal just to kind of show you how that would look so just bear with me Hold on. so in this journal here and that's how that would look obviously on the page so if you then undo your string it would obviously be glued down here at the back and then you'd open it and that's your little booklet kind of in there. So, you know, just really, um, you know, quick and easy and, you know, look really pretty. And of course, you can then decorate the front up. You can kind of, you know, add some lace trim on there. You could do all sorts of different things on there. You could obviously glue it down just on kind of three sides and have it as a little side loaded in pocket as well. So, you know, lots of kind of different options. And of course, you know, you don't have to use kind of printed paper. You could just use some coffee dyed paper. So let me just see whether I've got some here. Hold on. No, it's all very, very, very thin, I think, that I've got there. Just bear with me for two minutes. Right, I'm going to have to quickly get some, so just bear with me. Okay, 
So this is slightly thicker. I'm not sure what the actual GSM of this one is. But again, so what, you know, what I quite like to do is kind of do that accordion thing. I mean, this for me is just quite a, you know, quick, easy way of getting a, you know, um, trifold kind of fold, I guess would be the expression. So, you know, because then you've roughly got it kind of where you want it. And as I say, you can, of course, trim it down. You know, it's it's fine. So there we go. So you can probably see I've just got a slightly longer kind of bit there at the back. But I mean, obviously, I could make that the front. So, you know, that's kind of that there. And then all you're going to do is exactly the same in that we're going to kind of fold down our kind of triangle. So again, just tuck that like that. And then we're just going to glue that down. Just so that kind of strengthens it really. And obviously you could use your patterned papers, you know, from your kind of paper pads and things, because all you need to do is actually cut them down to kind of A4 size. I mean, actually, you know, we trimmed the bottom off of here. So, you know, you could even kind of trim them down to the actual size that you want prior to actually kind of getting started making, if you were using the kind of paper pad method. There we go. Oops. Excuse my um, ring. So that's that one. And then again, you know, you may want to kind of fill this piece in here. So I've got some sheet music here. If I just grab some. Just pop that down. So if I just, oh, I don't want that saying that line about saying goodbye, because that sounds a little bit kind of sad, doesn't it? I'm just going to trim that down here. And then trim it down a little bit here. Just so that's kind of butted up a little bit better, like that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of run my glue to about this point where my finger is. this in here like that now this I'm not sure whether it's a little bit brittle for um, folding over you know because once it's kind of been folded and unfolded a few times just wondering whether this is actually going to kind of crack so I might be better off actually kind of getting rid of this, I think. There you go. Because this is, um, you know, vintage, it's quite brittle. So I didn't want to kind of have it folded over because I just thought that was a bit of a kind of accident waiting to happen, if you, if you uh, see what I mean. So I'm just going to trim that little bit down there. And then we'll kind of neaten that up in a moment. So again, then I'm just going to chop off a little bit from the bottom. Like that. Just get rid of that in the bin. Check it's kind of straightish, it looks okay. And then again, just run the glue around. I hope I'm in frame. Those two edges, like that. Over you go, and then just glue it down like that and then I'm just going to trim this edge off because it's just overhanging slightly 
you know, very, very slightly. It really, you know, was hardly at all, but just to kind of trim it up slightly. Okay, and then kind of bending up a bit, hold on. Let's press that down a little bit more. Right, and then obviously, you know, this is just plain paper. So, you know, you may like to kind of decorate this with things like stamps or, you know, kind of some other elements or something on there. I mean I quite like it just like that to be honest, but I will I will use some stamping as well. So I've got this ink pad here, which is um, kind of new, so it's very, very juicy. So I'm just going to take my script stamp and just kind of do a little bit of kind of script stamping. In fact, I'm just going to kind of go to the bottom of the stamp now, where I know that the script gets sort of smaller like that. Now I've got stays on all over my hands so oh dear not very good and then again obviously might want something here in the corner so just have another look. What it could do is have something like this going at the corner so just kind of ink that up. I don't need to ink up the whole thing because I only kind of going to ink up half of it really. So if I just ah, like that. Just press that into place. Okay. I mean that just looks lovely I think just kind of exactly as it is. I kind of feel it doesn't really even need kind of anything further. It just looks awesome as it is. But if you did want to kind of have something extra, let me just see whether I've got some, some of that white lace that I've been using all the time lately. Right, and this is just one of the little typewriters from my little die cut pieces, um, my Digi die cut download. So. Just have the typewriter on there. Now I'm trying out this fabric glue here. So this is just um, some cheapy fabric glue. I think I've got it from the shop called The Range. Um, I haven't ever bought the Fabri-Tac. I know that everybody loves it and swears by it. So um, I may have to kind of buy some. I mean, personally, I normally find that, you know, my glue kind of holds it's okay. I mean, of course, if you pull it, it's going to come off. Um, but I mean, for all my kind of scrapbooks and mini albums and things like that, that I've made for myself in the past, I've just used, you know, this glue or hot glue to glue down any fabric. And it's always worked fine, you know, because I'm not intentionally ever kind of pulling it off. So, you know, but I am just kind of experimenting I suppose just seeing whether you know these are kind of significantly better um you know just in case they are so I'm trying that glue at the moment because it's obviously quite a lot cheaper than the Fabri-Tac which I've never actually seen in some shops I've just seen it on Amazon and it was quite pricey right so that's that and then on the inside obviously on this one we stuck those pieces on them you know on the inside we don't really need to do that on this because obviously that is plain anyway so you know we don't really need to kind of add plain on plain so what we could do is just do a little bit of stamping and actually I've got a little butterfly so we could oops that was just floating about on my desk it's from project that I'm working on at the moment. Right, so I quite like the butterfly on the front I think actually, so let's just glue that down. Like 
and then going inside you just have a look and see what we're going to stamp now I've got a stamp here of a typewriter so I think it might be fun for kind of continuity to kind of have the typewriter stamped in there so I'm just going to stamp it on here make sure it's coming out well lucky I did because it wasn't coming out brilliant okay haven't been stamped for a long time go so I mean for me that's just really kind of cool to have that kind of matching you know the typewriter on the front so you know I quite like that I don't feel it needs any other stamping on the inside I mean obviously I love the stamped corners so there's temptation there to actually stamp on the corners but I will resist that but perhaps we'll just put a little bit of script so, just so it's got a little bit more, I suppose, going on. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of, that's that. And then, again, we haven't obviously inked it up. Sorry, I'm opening and closing this drawer like 50 billion times. So, um, sorry if that's getting a little bit annoying. I'll have to just find my vintage photo. I haven't actually been inking things so much recently so I now can't find that oh, come on it's in my drawer as well no I can't see it in there oh, I think it's in my bag where um, I took it out with me last week I'm not in the habit of just taking <laughs> taking my ink out everywhere with me, but I've gone to uh, my mum's house, and I mean she only lives kind of you know down the road, ten miles away. But I've gone there for you know the day kind of thing. So I just took some bits and bobs with me to just do while I was at her house. So in her bit of crafting on the go so there we go now I'm not going to ink up that lace because I actually quite like that white contrast I think against this I think it looks really quite nice so I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm just going to ink the inside just I mean obviously this is coffee dyed anyway but just so it's a little bit grungier still so I don't know what's under there lumpy stuck on my worktop saver okay. and just fold it round and do kind of those creases there we go right so I love how that looks you know for me that's you know it's quite simple but just looks really 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 nice so and again if I just pull in the journal I'll just show you how that one would look on a page so that one would look like that if I just kind of stand up so as I can see it so again you've got your pocket in here and then you obviously would open it out and there's your little journaling space there so really 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 easy I mean I've said so many times I don't do anything if it's not easy because you know I I can't do difficult so uh, you know it has to be easy for me to kind of be doing it so I hope that you like those and that you might kind of give some a try I'd love to see what you come up with um, and yeah thanks for watching this super quick kind of tutorial thanks then have a great day Thanks. Bye.